Hi and welcome to today's Mishnah Brewer. We are at chapter 101, paragraphs 3 and 4. Yeshumrim, some say, Shibarosh Hashanah Yom Kippur, that on Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, Mutar li hashmiya kolam bitfila. People are permitted to make heard their voices um, in prayer. I feel a bit sad, but even in a community. Your Amos says, V'cheinu again, and this is our custom. Umikom makom, nevertheless. Yizaru, you should be careful. Shelo lehagbiya kolam yoter midai. To not make your voices louder than necessary. Yes, it is a time when people are more emotional. It is a time when we cry at Hashem. It is a time when there's more understanding from other members of the community that you, you want to make your voice heard, but there's still a limit and you still need to uh, be considerate. Number four, Yacholit Palel B'chol Lashon You are able to pray in any language that you want. Vahani Mili, that's Aramaic, these words. But Sibur, in a community that you can pray in any language. Aval B'yachid, but as an individual, Privately, lo palel You should not pray in any language except for the holy language, except for Hebrew. The Yashumrim and some say the Hanimili. These words, is when he is asking for his needs. Kogon, for example, shehit palel al chole or al shum tsa'ar sheyesh lo that he's praying over a sick person or over some kind of trouble that there is in his home. But prayer that is set for the community. Even an individual can say it in any language. Even an individual asking for his needs can ask in any language that he wants. Except for the Aramaic language. So those are the three opinions over here. Certainly in a community you can pray in whatever language you want. Privately, some say you should only pray in Hebrew. Some say you should only do special prayers in Hebrew. And some say you should only do special prayers in not Aramaic. Let's see the Mishnah Bura. I feel a bit see we're even a community. La Orer HaKavana. To awaken the intention. This is Rosh Hashanah Yom Kippur. Ulamitra Tzibura, and to bother the community, lo chayeshinan, we do not worry. Kevan, since, she sidurim machzorim biadam, they have sidurim and machzorim in their hands. Vaim b'magan Avraham, take a look at the magan Avraham, the masik who concludes, de yoter tov lit palel balachash im yachol achavein, that it is better to pray in a whisper if he is able to focus. Vachain katvu har b'achronim, and so too many achronim wrote. Your termi die more than is necessary. Dehare zemi neviyeha baal. This was from the prophets of the baal of the idols. Shenemar bahem about whom it says vayikru bakol gadol. They called out in a great voice. Inami. Alternatively, that's Aramaic. The Alya Dezer through this calling on this great voice, Bavada Yaval Bel Echad Mehemet Chavera. Certainly, one will confuse his friend or disturb his friend. In other words, if we're talking about uh, saying it out loud, there's one of two reasons: either because that's just not the Jewish way in prayer, or because it's actually going to disturb somebody else. Umikol Makom. Nevertheless. Nire, it seems, da chazanim shem agbim kolam, chazanim who raise their voices, kedei lo orer hakavana, in order to awaken kavana, la shmiya shapira devarim, and to make heard the matters well, that's Aramaic as well, shapir avdi, are doing well. De ikar, primary, tfilat shaliach tzibur, prayer of the tfilat tzibur, nitzkana, was established. Davka bakol gadol, davka with this loud voice. Achain, however, otam shosim ken kadei lahar ot kolam, those who do so in order to demonstrate their voices, in order to show their voices, vada osim shalokeng, and certainly they're doing inappropriately. In other words, for the chazan to do it as a way of the community coming together and expressing their hearts to Hashem, good thing. For the chazan to do it because he wants to make a uh, show, not such a good thing. Bechol HaShon in every language, mitzvah min hamuvchar, and it is a mitzvah from the choicest, the best kind of mitzvah, who davka belashon to only pray in Hebrew. That's the best. 
Vayim b'sim in Samach Be, Samach Be, Tegrok chapter 62, paragraph 2 of a Mishnah Burusha, Mishnah Burde, Mashiach Tavna b'shem Akronim Vazir. What we wrote in the name of the later authorities on this. Vegamayim b'tshuvat Chatam Sofer, take a look in the response of the Chatam Sofer, or a Chaim, chapter 84 and 86. Sheherich b'kamarayo, to went at length, with many proofs, This that they permitted to pray in any language, that is only sporadically. But to fix in a fixed way, constant. To set up a community leader and to actively forget. The Hebrew completely, ze e f shar This is impossible in any form, in any way. I am sham take a look there. Vod mechamat kama ve kama taamim and nechochim, and also because of many, many clear reasons, herichu kol goonei hazman, all of the great men, goon really is like a genius, but it means, you know, the great people, the geniuses of the time. And they concluded that is completely forbidden to make a non-Hebrew prayer service. This comes to exclude new groups. So new uh, groups that have uh, breached Outside of the nation, in this, really outside of the country, but he means, you know, that have gone beyond the, the national boundaries. And have translated, copied, copied is a better word, and have copied the entire order of prayer into the language of the nations. And one sin brings about, causes another. They skipped the blessing. Of, uh, of of bringing us back from uh, from the foreign nations into Israel. And the blessing of going to Yerushalayim. Just like they want to cause to be forgotten the remembrance of Jerusalem, so too they want the holy language to be forgotten from the Jewish people. He's being a bit sarcastic here. Lest, in case, they will be redeemed in the merit of not forgetting the Hebrew language. That's one of the things, is that uh, one of the merits of the Jewish people is that we have been loyal to our language. So he says it's almost like, ironically, it's almost like they're scared of the merit of the Hebrew language. The Holy One blessed is he should protect us from uh, uh, her heretical opinions like this. She yurtse, and he should pray in any language he wants. That is provided that he understands that language clearly. But in Hebrew, you, fulfill, you fulfill your obligation even if you don't understand the language. So any non-Hebrew language, it's only if you understand it, but Hebrew even if you don't understand it. So now we're speaking about uh, learning, uh, saying, saying private prayers in other languages. Because the ministering angels do not nizkakin respond to the Aramaic language. Vuadin, so too, shar lashonot, other languages, chutz mi lashon hakodesh, except for Hebrew. Angels respond to Hebrew. Aval tzibur ein tzarich melitz, but a community does not need an intercessor. She hakodesh baruch hu ba'atzmo makabal tefilatam, because Hashem himself receives their prayers. So what you have here is the mechanism of prayer. Prayer goes from the community to God, or it goes from the individual to an angel to God. But if you want to go from an individual to an angel to God, it better be in Hebrew because the angel will not get involved unless it is in Hebrew. Some say that still does not apply to a private, uh, regular, fixed prayer, but only to a private, special prayer, like for a sick person. This means for a sick person, not in front of him. But in front of the sick person himself, 
mutar b'chol lashon. It's permissible in any language. The Kaddish Baruch Hu matzui sham because the Holy One, blessed is is He, is found there. Hashem is right there with him. So when you're praying in the presence of the sick person, Hashem is in the presence of the sick person, and we don't again need an intercessor. Now, Kvua, the set prayer, the Gavin Shad Tfila Kvua Tzibur, since the prayer is set for the community, Yakarish Baruch Hu Ba'atmo Pone Alea, Hashem himself turns to that prayer. Afilu Shelo Bizman Shad Tzibur Mit Palalim, even not at the time that the community is praying. The Af Yachid, even an individual, they hold, they take the position. Angels actually do understand every language. It is just a, uh, that they don't respond to Aramaic. So it's not non-Hebrew, it's specifically Aramaic. It is, um, let's say, lowly in their eyes. And therefore, it is permissible for women to pray in other languages. And he says women because women were not historically as educated and they would not always have known the Hebrew. Arami, uh, Aramaic, Uvetzibur, and in community, Mutar Aflashon Arami. It's permissible even in the Aramaic language. Uvezeati Shapir, Mada Amrim. This now works out well. What they say, Yakum Pukan, we say the prayer Yakum Pukan on uh, Shabbat morning in Aramaic, or Vrich Shmei, and Vrich Shmei also, Betzibur in a community, Vechadome, etc. Ulafize, and according to this, Im Mitpalel Beveto, if he is praying in his home, Ein Yachol Leimor Shum Yakum Pukan. He should not say Yukum Pukan because now it's a private prayer in Aramaic. Vechen Muchach Ba'or is a rag adol. So to it is proven in the big version, the expanded, or the, rather the unabridged, or is in the laws of Shabbat, chapter 50. And that's it for today.